What's up, everybody? My name is Mason, Mason Souza. And if you're a sports fan like myself, or even just a live entertainment fan, you have been thriving, craving, begging for some kind of content in the last month or so. That's why I'm here. I'd like to be a little bit of the entertainment for you. I had a little bit of an idea uh, ever since uh, a little peek behind the curtain into the wacky brain that's been going on here since quarantine began. Uh, my wife and I got a little kitten recently. Uh, you don't need a clap. It's all good. But the, anyway, the point is, uh, the first toy we got her was this little plush pizza. And whenever I threw the pizza, she loves it. Whenever I threw the pizza, instinctively, in my head, I don't know why, but I would say, here comes the pizza. I'm like, why do I say that? Here comes the pizza. Then I thought, if you're a baseball fan, if you're a Red Sox fan, if you know broadcasting in general, if you know the names Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy, you know, here comes the pizza. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to react to broadcasting gems in live sports history. Let's do it right now. Fancy intro. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll do that some other time. But here comes the pizza. Let's share that computer sound. Yes, 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 yes. Let's put this down here. Um, do, do, do. Here we go. Here comes the pizza. Uh, as I mentioned, Don Orsillo, Jerry Remy, they made baseball easy for me to watch. I cannot watch a nine inning game. Uh, I just can't do it. But if you have the chemistry, if you have the guys that break the fourth wall, like Orsillo and Remy would do on a daily basis, that makes baseball enjoyable. So here we go. The best moment, you want to talk about 2004, you want to talk about Dave Roberts stealing the base. I mean, whatever, 07, 13, winning championships, whatever. That doesn't matter. Here comes the pizza is the best moment in Red Sox history. Coming to you from Rogers Center. Popped up, left side, ranging is Cabrera. Now coming is Anderson, and interfered with, no. Into the stands, the umpire ruling Tim Timmons and one beverage. Wow. Less than they had before. Wow, what's he got now? He's got mud on him Doesn't and, and an alcoholic beverage. It's a 7-1 game. Who cares? I think he this made a good call here. This is one of the factors why this was so see, great. how does this happen? It wasn't it's always a Wow. Beer everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> that happens. Oh. Whatever. But. <laughs> what did the cool look? Oh. <laughs> what was that that came flying in? <laughs> I'm not so sure that that was a, a mistake, which on his shoulder, Back it looks like someone left. may have yeah, he figured some out. stuff on him just to, to add insult to injury. I thought he rolled in the mud before he came to the uh, game, but no, that's not correct. He got hit with some type of sub sandwich or something. Oh, he want, now he wants a piece yeah. of it. You want to throw something there at me? There we go. You want a piece? A pizza, pizza? Well, he's the Pepsi fan of the game until he gets thrown out. That's what I'm talking about. Orsillo breaking the fourth wall. Here's a read. Pepsi fan of the game. <laughs> Until he gets thrown out. <laughs> strike three. J.D. Drew's gone. Red Sox. Right, so down on strikes. Seven they to they one. Boston. Stay tuned after the game for W.B. Mason's extra inning. So I can only picture. They went to a commercial break. Three minute break. Whatever it is. Remy's trying to do a read. And Orsillo is just cackling. <laughs> He can't contain himself. I can only imagine the lead producer in the truck is like, oh, do I have something for you guys? He's like pissing his pants in excitement. Like this is what's going to carry the final three innings of this game because the game's over 7-1, bottom of the seventh. And into the WB Mason post game, we're going to be talking about here comes the pizza. And for the next 15, 20, 100 years. Tom Garrett and Jim Rice, they'll bring the analysis of all the reaction to Josh Beckett's performance today, including the clubhouse reaction, plus a preview of the schedule tonight in the majors. It's all right after the game in high definition on SNL and John. Between innings, we did some investigative reporting on who uh, and what was thrown at that gentleman, and that gentleman has been ejected, but it was an ugly, ugly sight. And I don't know why it was necessary. Now watch. I can't circle. I don't have Blue my jacket. telestrator today, but why? here comes a pizza. See it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Highly unnecessary. Guy with the Patriots jacket, and of Highly course, he's been asked to leave the ball game for ruining a good piece of pizza. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Fenway, ball games, ballparks, concerts. A pizza's what? Ten bucks at the very minimum? Back then, maybe it was like seven, eight bucks. I don't know. Was this 10 years ago, 12 years ago? Which means today it's got to be 20 bucks. I know they serve the pizza boxes 
and you get like one the size you know of a dime but he's basically he's throwing up a hamilton he's 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 crumpling up a ten dollar bill and chucking it at this guy except there's a little more sauce on it and here goes some pizza uh, I wonder what. Why did he do that? Because he thought he was interfering with a play. Or, I mean, it seemed totally unnecessary. That's the best. Just part. now getting the pizza off him. God, he was hot for a while, but uh, I think the pizza thrower apologized. Some cackling. Why did he do in that? Slow motion. Some pizza. Uh, I wonder what. Why did he do that? Because he uh, thought he was interfering with a play. Or, I mean, it seemed totally unnecessary. Just He's now getting, getting the pizza off him. God, he was hot yes. for a while, but uh, I think the pizza thrower apologized. Yeah, I don't think so. And uh, no, I don't he think seemed so to cool off a little bit. But I'd be kind of ticked yeah, off I, myself if somebody yeah. fired a pepperoni pizza at me. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey's now, J.C. Poop. Romero is into the game here pizza. to pitch the eighth. It seemed unprovoked. Yeah. Too. It, just, it really know. did. <laughs> Just let it fly. We'll watch this one more time. One more look in slow motion if we can. And here's the Patriot. Here it comes. He's holding it like a baseball. If if you if you pause where he is, he's not holding it like a pizza. Like you need to talk into a phone when you're talking to sports talk radio. He's holding it like a base. He's planning to throw it at this guy for a while now. He's cocked back. He's 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 like I got my first pitch of the game and I'm decking this guy. Unfortunately, he needed a little more look in slow motion he if he can. And here's the Patriot. Here it comes. This, I'm it's, gonna, not a, it's not a Steve Bartman situation. Like, what are you doing interfering with the play? Because the Angels are in the field. This Patriots guy hates this guy, probably for innings, maybe the whole game, maybe his whole life, maybe a childhood bully or something. It's like I'm. You know, enough is enough. I'm gonna throw my fifteen dollar pizza at him. And and he he connected. If we can, and here's the Patriot. Here it comes. This, I'm gonna throw my pizza. So the only line. the only thing he didn't hit him with the cheese side. It hit him with <laughs> sauce first. That was an awful sight here at Fenway, and that could, that is not tolerated in this ballpark. He has been ejected. I think we and never again right. allowed to buy pizza. It's not so friendly. Yeah, as Cabrera leads it off. Kids would love baseball again. We get the trophy. I mean, think about how much it costs for a pizza pizza. Yeah. I mean, would you just fire to some go. guy? I, I personally would not. No. 15, 20 bucks. No. I, I wonder about the thought process, though. Well, honey, I'm going to the ball game today. And if I see some guy, I'm going to throw a piece of pizza at him. Yep. So that goes. There you go. That is the wonderful Here Comes the Pizza. Dwan Arcelo and Remy. I have another idea with Arcelo and Remy. I'm going to try to do these every Friday. If you have anything in mind, broadcasting gems, broadcasting live sports, uh, just things that totally broke the fourth wall, things where it's just a laugh, laugh factory, where things just went totally off the rails, I'd like to see them. You can comment below. I, I, like I said, I have another Arcelo Remy in mind. I'm wondering if you... Red Sox fans, baseball fans are thinking of the same one I'm thinking of. But uh, I'd like to know. Comment below. And um, there you go. Trying to bring live sports back. Here's, here's broadcasting awesome moments in live sports history. I'm Mason Souza. See you next time.